so in our previous cases we have seen the volume of conductor required for this dc system with midpoint earth was k and for single phase ac system with midpoint earth the volume of conductor required was 2k upon cos square phi now in this case we are going to learn in this lecture we are going to learn what is the volume of conductor required for three phase three wire system now see this is a three phase three wire system where this midpoint is earth that means this fourth terminal we are not going to use as a conductor so now as per our previous assumptions what we have stated the power transmitted will be p length will be same in each case power will be same in each case so now accordingly we have stated that this voltage between this phase and this earth point is vm so since it is a ac system we have to take the rms value of the voltage now we will go by our previous assumptions and calculation of volume requirement for a conductor so uh, the first step of us was what is the power which is passing now see see we have said that the total power was p now we will see about for per phase so power will be per phase it will be p by 3 and this total power per phase will be p by 3 and it will be equal to vm into i into cos phi right so this is our first step now we will write the voltage equation in terms of rms value so this power will be equal to per phase actually it is so it is vm upon root 2 into i into cos phi now our next point is to calculate the i as per our previous assumptions and if you calculate the i you will get the value of i as root 2 upon 3 see i will be equal to root 2 upon 3 p upon vm cos phi so this is our value of i so we will mark this equation as equation number 1 for our calculation now our next step was to calculate the W that is line loss. So since there are the three conductors, so line loss will write. So line loss, total line loss will be W and that W will be equal to 3 into I square R. Now we will write down the value of I. So 3 into I square that is root 2 upon 3 into P upon Vm cos phi this bracket square into r but our value of r was rho l in upon a so we'll put the value of r as rho l upon a so our next step is to calculate the area from this so we'll further simplify this step if you simplify this step so this square root 2 square will be 2 p square will be p square upon I will write 3 square is 9 so Vm square will be Vm square and cos square will be cos cos phi square will be cos square phi so this will be into rho L upon A now if you can so this 3 ones are 3 3 3 are this so our line loss will be equal to 2 by 3 P square rho L upon Vm square cos square phi and if you calculate the area from this by rearranging the equation, you will get the area as 2p square rho L. See, 2p square rho L upon, see, 2p square rho L upon 3w vm square, 3w vm square cos square phi. This is what you get the area. Now, our next step, this is our second step, let us say this is our second step. Now our third step is to calculate the volume of a conductor. So volume of a conductor, total volume of conductor needed. So it can be calculated is equal to three times because there are the three conductors into area into length. Area into length is our required volume and so we will put the value of this area so 3 into 
our area was 2 by 3 p square rho l upon w v m square cos square pi. Now if you see this 3 3 will get cancelled and what equation you get is 2 upon cos square phi let us take 2 upon cos square phi as a common as a outside and then what we get is p square so here it should be multiplied with the length so area multiplied by the length so this will be 2 upon cos square phi into p square rho l square upon you can say w v m square right w v m square now if you see this term this term is nothing but the value of k so we will substitute here it is equal to 2 upon cos square phi into k now see this is the same as in case of single phase ac now even though you are maintaining the maximum good power factor that is unity even though the volume of conductor required in three phase three wire system for transmission of power p will be equal to double the volume of conductor required in case of dc system so this is the expression three phase three wire system so volume of conductor required will be 2k upon cos square phi so better the cos phi you will get the better value of power to be transmitted or lesser the volume of the conductor that is required now we will see volume of conductor required in case of three phase four wire system this is the same now see what changes are there previously we were not using this as a conductor but now we are using this as a conductor and whenever we are using neutral in any case you have to keep in the mind that the one the size of the conductor is actually the half of the size of the phase conductor so if it is one conductor second conductor third conductor then size will be this size will be half that so while calculating the volume of conductor for three phase four wire system so we are following the same steps now this first step will remain as if it is that is power per phase will be equal to vm i cos phi so this will be as it is ac system again we will follow this step vm will be converted to rms value so it will be vm by root 2 similarly on the same path we have jotted down the same current then next step will be to calculate the line loss so line losses will be occurring across the phases only so we are writing here 3 into i square r we have also presumed the value of r is rho l upon a this will remain the same up to the area the calculations are same now so now where it changes the change will occur in this case so volume of conductor will be equal to now in this case for three phases it was three and the neutral was half so total volume required was 3.5 in case of three phase four wire system because we are going to use the fourth wire of a half size so total volume will be 3.5 into area into length now instead of 3 here will be 3.5 and if you see 3.5 into 2 it will be 7 so 7 this will come 7 upon this will be 3 remaining things will remain same so that is p square rho l into l that is l square 3 w v m square we have taken cos square phi as a outside so whatever we have received the equation from this three phase four wire system here it will come 7 upon 3 cos square phi or what you can say 7 k upon 3 cos square phi or again you can write it as a see 3 2 are 6 2.33 k upon cos square phi now see this is our next derivation which we have received so considering the volume comparison in various system 
for DC system with midpoint earth, we have required the volume of conductor as a K, where K was P square, that is power to be transmitted square into rho, that is specific resistance of a conductor into length square upon W Vm square, that is line loss into Vm square, that is voltage between the phase and neutral. In case of single phase AC, we got the equation of volume required for conductor was 2k upon cos square pi, where we have seen almost this is the double size. In case of three phase three wire system, the same equation we have got. So in three phase three wire system also, the volume requirement of conductor for the same transmission of power, same length of conductor we have received, it has 2k upon cos square phi. But now in case of three phase four wire, whatever we have received, the volume of conductor was 2.33k upon cos square phi, or it is equal to 7 upon 3 cos square phi into k. So this is how the volume of conductor gets further more in case of three phase four wire system.